Hello and welcome back to another video from Ayaka Let's Dance. Today is sort of another different little video. Um, is where, um, how to use a printer. Now, just saying how to use a printer, that's not really sp specific. What I mean by that, how to use the Brother MFC 240C printer. Pretty old printer, by the way. If you have it, amazing, tell me. Um... Yep, and this is how to use it. I'll tell you how to use the facts, except I actually can't use the facts, so I'll just tell you. The scanning, the copying, and actually the printer from an actual computer. So let's get started. First thing we'll do is printing. So, so you need to have your printer on, just all normal, everything. I'm going to print in black and white because um, my printer is not really great at... Uh, um, color. So this is a test printing document here. Um, I have like um, words of test in like all like different like bold, italic, and underlined ones, and then they keep on like fading and fading and going down until you can barely even see them, which is the bottom. Except I don't have any ones that is completely white, of course. What you first have to do is go up to the button up there that says print or click control P on your keyboard. Let me just Okay, and then a little menu will come up. Now this is for like Google stuff, the the little menu will come up. If you're doing it in File Explorer and uh, like a window will come up in photos, it'll still be the same I think. Okay. So first what you have to check is the destination. The destination has to be your brother MFC 240C printer, which is connected to my computer via um, USB, which is this big long USB that connects to the printer. And if we open it up, um, like the whole entire thing, first thing we'll do is tell us to close it. But yeah, this is where it connects and goes all the way down there to my computer. Let's close it. So, um, I'm holding the phone in one hand. This isn't an old printer, so we'll make some noises. Okay, so yeah. And also, um, yeah, then you can choose how much pages, how much copies, color, more settings. So I'll just leave it as this and click print. Or you could just click enter. Now, um, and this printer should start making a noise. It'll say receiving data. There you go, it's making some beeping noises and everything, whatever's going on. And it'll come out through here. If there's a paper jam, like if, whoa, is there a paper jam? Well, what's happening? Oh, it's not. <laughs> well, that's amazing. Sound like a paper jam. It'll say, please wait. Well, you can still take it out when saying, please wait. So there you go. You got it. Um, so this shows all the testing. They sting all the way to the very bottom, which is very light. I can actually, s oh gosh. Um. I don't know if you can see it, but I can actually see the very bone ones that were the lightest. And I can only see them in tiny bits. But I don't think this camera is capable of seeing that. So that's how you do printing. Um, yep. If there's a paper jam, like if the paper gets stuck, it'll make a noise like beep, beep, beep. And it'll also, if, yeah. And it'll show like paper jam on here and then remove the back. Um, yeah. And if there's no paper in there, it'll show up, it'll make the same beep 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 noise. It'll say no paper fed. You have to open this up. Can't ho ho open up with one hand, but then you just put in the paper and I think you will figure it out. Yep, so that's how you do printing. So let's stop that printing part. Next part is scanning. Basically, if you don't want to know, don't know what scanning does now, you, first you click on that. It basically um, makes, um, you can actually like put a copy of, like it just it just turns the piece of paper into an actual image on the computer. So um, you use the arrow keys here to select which type. 
First one's email, which is just basically saying scanning to a JPEG. Also image, which is pretty much the same. OCR and file. You only have those four options. I recommend using email. And basically what you do, if you have only one sheet to scan, you open it up here. Open up here. There's little marks over here where you're supposed to put it. Put the sheet upside down onto there and line it up with the lines. Currently, this is an A4 sheet of paper, so I'll line it up with the A4 marks. There we go. I think that's lined up. We close it up. But what if you have more than one sheet to print? Um, uh, yeah, exactly. You just put all them upside down up into here. Just push them in a bit until they stop. And then it, you'll see um, when it starts, it'll just start feeding them in, coming out. And then it'll, it'll just keep on doing it over and over again. Sadly, I can't show you that with my printer because it looks like um, it's actually broken a bit. Because one time I tried it, it wasn't even feeding in anything. So my, my printer doesn't work with that. Um, okay. So exactly, yeah, scan. I'm going to select email and you can either do it in color or monochrome or black and white, whatever it's called. I'll do it in black and white. Start. So say connecting to PC. Okay, there it goes. I can hear the sound of it and it says scanning page one there. So as you can see, it's making a sound and saying scanning. So look, there it goes. It's loading, loading. Wait for it. I don't want to click cancel. If I cancel it, oh well, it's cancelled. Yep, so it's still saying scan. Okay, now, yep. And now another window will come up. Oh gosh. No, oh, you missed it, sorry. But it was like a window just showing, like, scan the page. It'll show actually the actual page there. And then just like scanning page one of one. And when it's finished, yeah, it will go back to the scan menu. Um, okay, so that's how it works. If you want to actually see, yeah, it will actually open up File Explorer straight away. And there you go. It will be in the Pictures Library. And then, um, let me just go to Pictures Library. And then it will be in the folder with the actual date on it. Um, so what the date is. So um, this is... Currently, today is the 5th of June, so let's open that up, and let's just open this up. Sometimes it might not be the correct. I think this is actually upside down. Oh, yeah, that's upside down. So we can just, I'll just rotate it with um, uh, photos. Ah, oh, there we go. Perfect. If you're doing it in color, it might not be the correct color. Okay, that's that's it with the computer. So there you go. With that in there. I'll actually keep that in there because now I'm going to teach you how to copy. So yeah, of course, if you have one sheet, put it there. More than one sheet, put it up there. So you click on copy. Now, 100% normal just means like um, like uh, the size of it and stuff. And the zero one is how much copies of it. So I can click on the number pad how much copies of it. So I say if I want two copies, I'll click two. So there it goes. It says zero two or eight or oh, twenty eight. <laughs> I don't want twenty eight copies. What if I want to backspace that? Uh, not exactly sure. Oh yeah, you click clear slash back. Oh. Hmm. Oh, you just click stop slash exit and it'll just go back to one. Now, I'm only going to do one copy for today. But, yep. Yeah, you'll have it up there. And click um, start, which is either if you want it in color or black and white. I want it black and white. Let's click that. And it'll make, start making noises. It'll say copying on there, page one of one. So, say if you've got, if you want to do more copies, it will sh show at the start, like, page one of Say if you got four copies, well, that's a lot of sound. It'll say like one of four and then two of four and then whatever. we come back at the bottom there. And, oh, sorry. And there you go, you got the copy of it. This is pretty cool. Okay, I'll say please wait. Buh, 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 buh. 
That sound at the end means that it's finishing. So don't think it's starting <laughs> again. Okay, so that was that. The last one's facts. Now, photo catcher, don't exactly know what that does. I know. Um, try with your printer if the light lights up because mine's not for some reason. I'm not sure if the light lights up or not, but now exactly what fax does. So at the your yeah, home, so always when you like turn on your printer, it will always go to the fax page, which um, this is just where you can leave it on. It'll just say the date, the time, and M N L, whatever that is. <sighs> okay, so say if you want to um uh um um do fax like um. Yeah, and you you have the fax number. Yeah, you just use the number pad straight away under the fax homepage. You just click the numbers and just go on. So I just click six, blah, 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 blah. But I'm not going to do it because I do not have a cable that's connected to fax. Because I do not use fax. So we can just click the red button there to stop it. Well, I think that's it. Um, or do you want to see... Um, um, the, the two copies, maybe. Okay, I'll sh just show you how it would be like if I did more than one. So I'll do two. I'll click mono. Copying. One of two. There you go. So this is the first copy. And then there'll be a second copy. Hooray! Whoa. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. That's making a lot of sound. Whoa, 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 whoa. And I think if you have more than one page at the top here, um, I think I'll show you, like, I, that's the first copy. Now, copying two. Copy two of two. Well, it's, I've never heard these noises. It feels like it's, there's a paper jam. I think it's really trying to do those light colours. Yeah, those light colours are not nicely done, huh? Well, there's, there's the first row, which is black. The second row, which is sort of a little lighter. But the third row is very badly done. Because as you can see, let me open this up. The third row in here is that. And the third row in here is, like, pretty much nothing. You can actually see it right there. It's just, I don't know. Because, um, yeah, that's exactly how it's like. Yeah, so say if you if you if you drew something on there and you need to copy it again, you'll copy it, scan or anything. It, it, basically, what it's doing is just it's copying or scanning anything that's that's in here. So like this, so when it's copying or scanning, the slider will there's a little slider here and it'll just start coming on, scanning like like scanning like um like reading and and checking each part of that. So basically, if I put the piece of paper in here, yeah, this the thing will go on, and then yeah, it would like see every bit of it. Yeah, because first what it does, it, it reads it, it it like um, it checks um, all of it, and then and then the printer does all its work to put all the ink on it and everything. Just remember, um, yeah, if your ink's are low, it will. Um, Say like um, this color is low or something. I forgot what it said actually, but yeah. Um, thank you for watching. I hope um, you had a great time watching this. Sorry if this video was a bit too long. Um, I hope it could have been shorter. Um, I'm really sorry I could have shown I could have not shown you up here because sadly it actually looks like this doesn't work anymore. The top. I might check later, but. Um, goodbye. Just remember, press and hold the power save button and it will start shooting down.